It is uh, time for some phone calls. Mike in Baltimore. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Mike. So I have two. I have two points that will heal the nation. Point number one. Point one is. Did I lose you again? Nope, you're here. No, no. I'm still there. <laughs> okay, great. you're still there. The Three's a yeah, charm, the first man. Point. Yeah, the first point is always remember hate works in reverse. The more you hate, the more sick you get. That's point number one. The second point is, you want to heal the nation, here's how you do it. You go to the Department of Treasury, which creates indelible, non-copyable documents. You create election ballots through the Department of Treasury. And you, you use the Treasury to issue the ballots, and you vote by using a valid form of ID, birth certificate, whatever, the only way you're going to heal this nation is to create some trust. I was a coach for 20 years. I won a lot. I lost a lot. I had teams cheat against me. So what? All right? Be a pragmatist. Always try to better your life. Try to better your situation. This is how we do it. You want us, the 72 million that voted for Trump, to... Try to help heal the nation. Prove it to us. Rod Baroy at Safe Retirement Solutions is there to help you with all your retirement questions. Call Rod at 410-266-1120 or on the web at saferetirementsolutions.com. Go do something to prove to the 72 million Americans that think that they were cheated. Do something reliable and honest and verifiable and say, this will secure all elections from this day forward. And I don't care if it's president, Congress, the local dog catcher. That's how you do it, and that's the only thing that I'll accept. Other than that, it's just crap to me because I have to work for a living and I have to pay my <laughs> bills. So you, got it. you guys all fight about it. Well, I, want you I, I do have I do have two questions for you, Mike. I want to get your feedback on this. One is: Do you think a Democrat uh, president and a Democrat uh, unified government has any thought of doing that, and and two, uh, being at the states basically determine how they run their own elections, uh, then how, how do you accomplish that from a federal standpoint? Well, 72 million Americans is one-third the population, and we are not the snowflakes. We are not the pajama-wearing boys that use their cell phone to do everything in life. We actually work hard for our money. And when you tax us and when you stick us with health care bills that are three times, four times what they were six years, eight years ago, we watch, and we watch carefully. So if you want our support, if you want us to participate without the anger and the underlying hate that goes along with it, stop lying, stop cheating, show us that you're willing to come across halfway and meet us halfway. Otherwise, you're just creating a hellhole that will only get worse. Yeah, my, my, my suspicion is that that ain't going to happen. Uh, you know, they're going to they're say one thing and they're going to do what they uh, damn well please. And the question is, can they convince enough of the sheeple that what they're saying isn't what they're seeing? Not well, they're going to say, we want to be unified, we want to be unified, right. we're all going to work on the same team and at the same time. Yesterday, for example, one of the first things that the, uh, the new president did was to eviscerate women's sports. Mm -hmm. Just eviscerate it. Yeah. And say that from now on, guys can compete on women's sports teams. So don't tell me Joe Biden or Kamala Harris care about women when Biden forces public schools to allow biological males on women's sports teams. That's on his first day in office. So it was so important, it had to be the first day. But then he's going to turn around and say, you know, we care. We have to be unified and caring about women and children. Yeah. And it's a caring thing. Here's the other thing that's going to happen. because, And we predicted this. Uh, is that uh, because they already uh, had, had introduced this bill uh, last year. Uh, and that was to uh, make sure that universal mail-in ballots uh, are going to be accepted. And I can tell you right now in my conversations with Dee Hodges at Maryland Taxpayers Association and, uh, and Ellen Sarbray, and we're going to have them on here in the near future, there are a couple of voter bills already in the state of Maryland that are being introduced as we speak in this General Assembly that will automatically send out mail-in ballots to every registered voter in the state of Maryland. That's what the Democrats are going to do in every state where they have control of the legislature. Uh, and they're going to try to do it at the federal level as well. So this is what we're up against.